What's up, country boy modding? Hey, you guys sick of that boring old farm truck? How about we change it up and make it from this to this with some cool rock lights? Stay tuned and we'll show you how. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. Hey, what's up, y'all? How you doing today? So, we are going to jump into this. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to view. We're going to go up to camera views. We're going to look and see if there is a camera that is not used, whether it be an indoor or an outdoor camera. We do not want either of those. So, what we're going to want is we are going to want a separate camera that is not used. If there is not one, we'll go ahead and create one. But in this case, I luckily have one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this camera and we're going to zoom out. Then what I like to do and I think is makes life a lot easier is we'll go down here to Pronus. We'll create a plane and we'll go ahead and scale that plane up. Let's go... 30 by 30 by 30 this way we can see our lights as we create them now I do know in the case of this truck that the wheels are a bit lower I'm gonna guess approximately about here so we're gonna use that as our rough base um we may or may not have to go in and make adjustments but we won't go into those final details we're just going to show you the basics of how to do it and I'll, I'll give you a little bit of uh idea as to how to make your adjustments but that will be solely up to you to adjust it how you like it so our next step is we will go in here and we will create a light form Then we'll go over here to light. We'll change that to a spot. And what I like to do, because uh, Giant's Editor, when you start out, it automatically starts out with a uh, rotate X of negative 40. I like to zero that out. And then I like to zero the Z out as well. And then I'll go into show lights. That way I can rotate this the way I want it and just to keep it on a square axis bring it over here and what i like to do is i like to get an approximate idea of just slightly behind where the rotor is if your truck does not have a rotor you can pick something else to use as your baseline um, of, of what you want to consider like the center or, or just slightly in from the outside edge here like I said me personally I prefer to do just slightly behind the rotor um, on a truck that has rotors on it and then what I like to do is I like to pull this up just slightly above the fender. And in this case, we're going to make these blue. So we're going to come over here and we're going to take this range down to, let's try two. Mm, four. Yeah, I kind of like four. All right, in this case, these are your color changers, your uh, red, green, and blue. Um, adjusting these colors in different variations can get you the color you want, that you want. Say you want amber, a purple, a, um, oh goodness, uh, a yellow, a ruby red. Um, any color that's not just a basic red, green, or blue, of course. Um, there are ways there are ways you can look up formulas as to what will what out of rgb will make 
a certain color that is up to you if you want to go through that hassle to research it generally like if i wanted to do an amber i'll automatically turn off the green and what i'll do is i'll bring in uh not wanting to work with me very well let's go one and one well, i guess i didn't take that it no it sure didn't i don't think I'll just kind of play with the numbers a little bit and I know an amber generally has just a slight variation of a green so you can play with you play with the scales here to move this scale back and forth at a slower rate then what you can do with your mouse you're going to use your uh right and left navigation key down on your keyboard or your right and left arrows rather um but like i said in this case we're just going to do blue so we're going to leave that at one you're going to take the green off and take that the red off and we got our blue so now in this case what i like to do is i like to turn off my lights it just clutters everything to have all those lights um, combined within or, or all those uh, light rays uh, projected in there. And then what I like to do is I'll just go with a... Uh, wait a minute. I clicked the wrong key, didn't I? Yeah. Need to go control duplicate and then i'll go up here to my x and i'll go negative and that gives me my two front lights and it gives it gives them perfectly half and half on the truck provided that the mod creator had originally zero the mod the model in blender in this case we're just going to assume it's zero that looks pretty zero to me and then what i like to do is I like to go back to my very first one i'll duplicate that again and then i'll go ahead and turn on my lights one more time here And I can use this to pull it approximately into my middle. One more time, shift duplicate. Put a negative. And that gives me all four of my wheels. Now, this is only the projection of light. This is not the actual rock light itself. And, and you can do more of them. You, you can um, definitely kind of do a, do a rotation and bring it back, bring it back down and back and, and kind of Build around the whole inner fender wall if you want to. Um, for this tutorial, I'm not going to do that, but you, but it is definitely something you can do. Um, what I do think I'm going to do is what I what else I like to do, just to double check, so that way you don't have a ton of I'm going to duplicate this plane I'm going to take this plane down just a little bit turn off the top plane 
And then we'll start with the back one, even though it's the last one. And we'll go three. Three, and what we're doing is just changing the range so that way um, when it hits the, the road, it's not so blinding. Three. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and one other, one other thing to note, if you're, um, running high graphic settings versus not running high graphic settings, um, and you, um, don't have cast shadows on when you, you want cast shadows on for high graphics for, um, uh, non high graphics you don't want uh, cast shadows on because it will not if you're running medium or, or lower graphics on your on your lights they won't show they'll show in G but they will not show once you go in game all right so we're gonna call that good let me delete this plane turn this plane back on just so that way we can see what's going on And then what I like to do is I like to take these three lights and put them inside this light. Then we will go in here. Um, we'll just go ahead and go under real lights and name this one R O C K L I G H T S. And then we'll grab that we'll center click with our scroll button we'll go up to lights Oops. go up to real lights drop it in there then we can go into our mod we will find the XML which would be that shouldn't oh here it is we'll open our xml we'll ignore that for right this moment we will look for our lights and we want real lights as our section. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to copy this line right here. And you don't have to copy this line. You could set up to be under whatever light type you want. And what that is, is how many times you press the uh, light switch, whether you be on keyboard as the F key or you be on controller um, or a steering wheel or something like that. It's how many times you press the uh, light key so in this case what we're going going to do is we're going to enter here paste and we're not going to do anything with that quite yet we're going to run back into our giant set editor click on our rock lights get our node and we're going to paste that here We're going to copy this one more time. Go under highs. Paste that here. Save. We can close that out after we save. Then we can save here. Oops. One thing I forgot. Got to delete this plane now we can save then we can jump into game and see if our lights work and bam there you go we have rock lights
Alright. With that being said, if you like this one, I hope you go down in the description, leave a comment, tell me if it helped you. Also, do me a big favor because it helps me out to be able to know what content you like. Hit that thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button. We have another tutorial coming Thursday. What we will be doing with that tutorial is we will be showing you the actual rock lights that will have a physical appearance inside the fenders. Y'all have a great day, and I also will make sure that I have the rock lights available for you to be able to download and use yourself. So, y'all have a great day. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost I'ma stay last, stay proud, never running